hopping off a bus is no big deal to fifth and sixth graders. But for kindergartners, it's bigger than their backpacks. nervous. Which is why Thomas's siblings sat him down before the first day. I said that uh, it's fine stuff and you get you naps. Take so. Okay, all right, hug and kiss bye. And I gotta go, okay? Hug and kiss. You'll love me this morning. See ya. If only they could have done the same with mom. This is hard. I'm actually keeping in all of my emotions right now. I'll probably go outside and cry. <laughs> Since 2009 or 10, you want to say bye to mom? These boys and girls have usually been with mom or dad. Love you. I'm so glad he got you as his teacher. Oh, thank you. Or grandma. I think we are all happy that he's at this stage of his life and sad in a way because mm -hmm. it's going to be a very big change for all of us. But today, how's it going? Today, is different. Let's go find our cubbies. Most of the kids, ready. they were just fine. Excitement. He said he had a little bit of a butterfly in his tummy this morning, but then he got on the school bus and he did it, and then I drove here to make sure he was okay. He doesn't need me. Most of the parents, I have butterflies that I'm excited for him. Realized today, their babies aren't babies anymore. You want to see my gym shoes? Because two minutes after the last kisses and snapshots, they were cutting and coloring like pros. A few tried their best to hold it in until they remembered the one who just kissed them goodbye. Oh, not yet. Okay. Oh, okay. And then meter. The last tear fell before 8:30, which was time for PE. I was PE spell. And the time these kids proved they follow directions well. Can you put your hands by your side? Beautiful. I love that. Ten years from now, moms and dads will be cheering them on from these stands. But today, both Ben's, Ella and Isabella, got their pedometers, walked back to their carpet, U -S -T. and started soaking it all in. And you're going to learn all these things in kindergarten. It's going to be a happy day. Eric Kansen, KCCI 8 News. Ella, nice job. Good job, Ben. Iowa's news leader. Decades before Facebook, Hi, Tom. social communities revolved How you doing, Jim? around red, white, and blue polls. Thank you, Don. Well, this is, this is so. uh, the information <laughs> center. She gets sick for about three days, but not, not extremely bad. In Fremont, where the population is just a hair over 700. Depends who's <laughs> died in the last week. <laughs> One man. You still cut hair? Sit down. Is an $8 institution. When I moved down here, it was a dollar. Six generations of Mahaska County men have remained faithful to Bill the Barber. It really turns them on when I stick my finger in their ear. <laughs> a Main Street love affair that started 49 years ago. When I opened up that day, I thought, what have I done? It was like an hour before I had a customer. Before long, the town would go bushy anytime Bill took a vacation or, heaven forbid, he had heart surgery. Nobody wanted to get their hair cut. We all looked like we're crap for, you know, for two months till we came back and cut our hair again. Triggering a run on the barber. And the most haircuts I've ever given in one day was 82. And I thought I was gonna decease. It was, it was terrible. Bill is, uh, is kind of the heart of Fremont. I, I love it and I, the, just getting up and coming to work is a joy. Mm -hmm. Got it. Oh my gosh, oh, Huey really? baby. So imagine their horror. Ruined your last day anyway. Tomorrow. When his faithful men got the news. And you thought Rod had to cut nose hair. Yep, we will. And ear hair. Oh yeah. But after per near half a century, Bill's clippers aren't quite done yet. My wife's lost her hair from chemo. Within weeks, the wards are heading south. My son Brian and I is going to shave our heads before we go to Mexico so she won't be the only bald one on the trip. Leaving his faithful men in good hands. Appreciate all your business. It's been fun. To celebrate life with his sweetheart. Yeah, Jim, thank you. Barbershop. If quiet's a virtue, McCallsburg's your town. Yeah, you can stand in the middle of Main Street and nobody's gonna run over you. But even towns this small. About a 
313. Need a cheerleader. In my reign, I got natural gas in this city. I got cable TV in this city. Theirs didn't choose to run for mayor when he hit retirement age. He was written in. I guess I've got to do it. They, if they put their confidence in me, I'll do my best to serve them. Now, 22 years later, <laughs> Wally Loney might be pushing 88. Hi, Pam. Hello. But he's pulling the weight of a man half his age. Hard for the town to run without him. Somebody has to do it. Absolutely. And I enjoy doing it. Every morning, he cruises down, checking for trouble at the water tower. This is an auxiliary pump and wrestling utility covers he wouldn't have to be. That's what keeps me young. A young 88. Some days I feel like a 108. Next day I might feel like a newborn, kicking and raising kingdom. <clears throat> During summer, he's the city mower. After storms, he's on the cleanup crew. And I enjoy every minute of it, I really do. Morning, Wally. Morning. For Whoever wrote in this great grandpa for mayor might have done it for a laugh. If brains were dynamite, he couldn't blow his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. But the nearly 90-year-old who's not doing it for the money. They give me a cupcake every now and then. Is proving small town pride doesn't expire with age. Wally's probably the most caring, most concerned small town mayor you could find. Mm -hmm. In McCallsburg. It's just a nice place to live. Eric Hansen, News Channel 8, Iowa's News Leader.